Either this one or this one. Or I could get both. I don't know. Comment below. <laughs> Which one should I get? I don't know. I need groceries. Hello! Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> I'm Raylene. Daniel, nice Daniel, to meet you. Daniel, good to meet you. All right. This is Daniel from the Metro Thrift. Hello. What's up? <laughs> okay. Okay, so the Metro Thrift is... Thrift wheel... Thrift, thrift. thrift shop on bus. On, on yes, wheels. on wheels, yeah. On thrift bus. on wheels. Yes. Bus thrift, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. So then, when, when did you get into this? Like, what inspired you? Um... And when was it, I guess? Yeah, so basically the bus started in July of last year. July of last year? Um, oh, yeah. Okay. That was when the bus fully started, but we had we had been curating clothes for about a year before that. Um, I had done a pop-up in this location, like right here, yeah. uh, Labor Day weekend two years ago. I just brought some racks and oh, some okay. clothes okay. Um, and sold here, and it went really, really well. So I was like, All right. how can I keep this going? Retail business was too expensive, like having a brick and mortar. Yes, um, absolutely. So the bus was the next next best thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even thinking about that just by living. Like, I don't, like, yeah. rent is so expensive. I just want to get a bus and just own a bus. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, seriously, like, that's that's a groceries are expensive. A year's rent is the bus. So, exactly. Like, yeah. And I that's, mean, this that's is your business. If it's like a month's rent, if we're talking retail, okay. like a brick and mortar. Yeah. Um, it's like eight, ten grand a month. If you're downtown Halifax, you're easily paying that. So okay. that's like a little under what I paid for the bus, mm -hmm. and that's a month. So. All yeah. right. That's sweet. So yeah, not a whole lot of overhead when it comes to um, the booths. I'm wondering, should we go yeah. inside? Um, do a little sweep job. Up here? Okay. This is the inside of the bus. Do people come in here to shop? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is where we've got like, kind of more of our premium jackets. Um, all of our t-shirts and pants are inside. Sure. We've got our okay. fancy dancy changing room here. Nice. If you do want to try anything on. Um, and we do have the TV set up. I've just changed the, it used to be set up right here. Mm -hmm. I just moved it over here, so I've got to get a, a new VCR to, to fit this area. Oh, that's so uh, fun. So yeah, I usually have like games and stuff going. I love the aesthetic, all of it. Awesome, it's thank so you, cool. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah you, you show me around. You're the um, tour guy. So that's pretty much the bus. I just put yes. in a new shoe rack here too, yeah. just because I've been getting a lot of pairs of shoes, and extras down here. So where do you get your stuff? So I source it myself. So we okay. go to pretty much every secondhand store in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, um, right. Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm. And now since we've kind of established our name, people will come to us to sell, yes. which is really nice. Oh, so, okay, cool. Um, that yeah. just kind of saves me the hassle of going yeah. to find stuff. So, Absolutely. Yeah, you're um, getting quite a bit of a following, I've seen. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been really good so That's far. So, cool. so yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so like we're here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Shout out. Um, and where do you, like, you travel? Yeah. Like, so around the province? We are based in Halifax. We okay. typically do our weekends in Halifax. Um, last year we did two New Brunswick trips. Okay. We went to yeah. Sussex, New Brunswick, which is my hometown. All right. Um, just kind of knew some areas there. Sure. But next year we hope to do every third weekend of the month we're on tour and we go to a different spot in the Maritimes, like Fredericton, or oh, go to Charlottetown, okay. or Somerset. Oh, I love Charlottetown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have family there, so. Nice. Yeah, yeah. big fan. Yeah, so I'm hoping to go to uh, Samo Fest mm -hmm. in, in uh, PEI Fest. next next year, yeah. Okay, It's like the Sweet. big festival that happens after Cavendish, like the week okay. after. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where to go, you know? Yeah. Everybody loves all the small businesses. Yeah. Little, little, especially at festivals like that, oh right? Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good school. Yeah, so I haven't done a festival, but I'm hoping to. 
Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Um, show me the rest. Yeah. I didn't right. even know you had stuff in here. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So actually, I usually don't do this, but I got a bunch of new stuff out today. So this okay. is just new to the bus. Okay. Usually it is mixed in with everything else. Okay. Um, and it probably will be as I go throughout the day. But mm -hmm. this is our new section for today. All right, yeah. Um, do all the winter, like try to keep everything together in terms of like what they are. So like all the winter jackets together, all the light jackets together. Um, yeah, so we've got our two big double racks, which are really oh, nice to too. have. Yeah, yeah. Um, over there is more sweaters and fleeces and my femme wear. A little bit more dresses and sure. yeah, smaller I didn't see shirts. This, yeah. this is my favorite section. I love the fleeces. All right. Yeah. Oh and my our goodness. little sales table where we do accept debit and credit. Um, yeah. yeah. And that's not our Coca-Cola machine, but it is there. It's very like, it goes with the aesthetic. Yeah, right? Like, who knows if it's real? Or you can actually buy. Yeah, a Spray around. or something? A water? Drink more yeah. water? Yes. Yeah. I didn't see this yet. Oh, there I go. To be fair, okay, it was only a matter of time until I get distracted by clothes. I mean, like, I'm interviewing a thrift shop on wheels. Yeah. I usually do have a $5 bin. Uh, which is in that pink shopping cart. Okay. But um, I don't have any it's $5 items yeah. right now, so. Okay. Yeah. $5 item. Is fleece your favorite fiber? Like, what's your favorite fiber? Ooh, that is a good, good question. We'll save it to the end. Save okay, it to the end, think about it. Yeah, I'll think, think about, about it. it. Yeah, save I'll have the, the answer end. by the end okay. of it. Okay. All these people. Um, okay, we're going to... Sustainable fashion question. Yeah. Is it important to you? Sustainable yeah. fashion. Definitely. Of course, that's why um, we're here. That, that is exactly <laughs> why we're here. Right? Yeah, so I guess kind of a big thing that why I like sustainable fashion is when Slow I fashion. first moved here, I started working in Patagonia. Okay. Um, look at that, perfect. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and they made me really realize what is kind of happening in fast fashion and, and, and clothing industries yeah, and fast fashion is what you can do as a big company because yeah. you know Patagonia is all over the world but they're still doing what I think they're supposed to be doing and, and creating garments that are sustainable and and they're like actually creating new new forms of, of clothing like uh, they were the first ones to invent regenerative cotton oh, uh, okay. which is pretty impressive you know because yeah. uh, Cotton tends to kill the crop, um, so for that to was, be able to do that, I was that's, talking that's briefly this about Aaron too earlier. Oh yeah, like cool. you know, the cotton isn't it's not natural anymore. Right, it used to be. Yeah, like all the pesticides are are insane. Yeah, hurting it. Yeah, no, seriously. So you gotta see if it says natural cotton, right? Right. That's yeah. why. That's yeah. No, seriously, it's it's nothing's natural anymore. It's a big, big thing, and then you get like bigger brands like Sheen that are just pumping out clothes like oh, non-stop and we yeah. have we have we have it's enough disgusting. clothes that we can wear secondhand for the rest of our lives and exactly. never have to worry about yeah. it if you didn't know sheen was a fast fashion company or you don't even know what fast fashion is or the grossness of it um <laughs> you can check out that video i made a video about it it's linked in the description below um just here's a little snippet of it and um that's it's a pretty heavy topic, but if you're interested, go check it out on my channel. On to the interview. Let's go. I think people are starting to realize, but everyone needs to realize that. Yeah. So, I yeah. think a lot of people just like the instant um, gratification, I guess. Instant gratification. It's like, oh, oh I can gosh. buy this right now. It's cheap, but then, but then it's not you wear long lasting. It twice and yes. it's falling apart. Yeah. It's like. Or do you actually like it, or did you just get it because it was cheap? Right. Yeah. That's Are you another thing wear it? too. Yeah. 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 When they put on these big, big discounts, like buy, I don't know, buy two, get your third free. Do you really need that third one, or are you just getting it for free? Like, people you just can. like the discount. It's yeah. just something in your brain. I don't know what it is. It's so true. Yeah. It's... But yeah. So that's kind of. I don't know where I stand. Yeah, I like, it's frustrating. I like secondhand. I like being able to say I'm 
helping in one way or another, Absolutely. I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I think so. Yeah. And I mean, like, that's why I reached out to you because this is what I want to promote, is all you guys doing your part to promote slow fashion and sustainable fashion. Right. Because fast fashion is very corruptive and polluting and people don't realize that. Yeah. It's like the third most polluting industry in the world. That's and people insane. see, oh yeah, you know, like, we're oh, cycling, it's whatever. It's like, yeah. oh, they're plastic, synthetic fibers? Yeah, yeah, exactly, Everything's right? mixed poly that blend now. That is like, your microplastics right there. I know, yeah. oh, it, it frustrates me, but yeah. no, this is good though. I, I love this. Awesome. Um, okay, let's, do you wanna go back inside? Um, yeah. I want to show off something. Show um, off some pieces. Well, like how you take it. I just, I noticed this. I just yeah. I like how you take things. Like he uses like playing cards. Yeah, we use playing cards. We were thrifting the cards, but we You're thrifting the cards. Figured out that the Halifax like Casino they yeah. throw away so many decks of cards every day oh. that you can just go there and get them for free. Okay. Yeah, so you can get like four decks for free every day if you wanted to. Wow. Um, yeah. So you're thrifting all the time then. Thrifting all the time. Yeah. Not even when it's closed, but it like everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. It's all a circle. Yeah, that's the, awesome. The only thing that's new in the bus is maybe some some shoes every once in a while. Okay. But the sticker to put on the playing card is the only thing. Okay. Yeah. Yes, because that's, that's the price. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is this your full time or do you have part time? Yeah, so this is this is my full time. I could live full time off of the bus. Good. I still do work for the tap room, which is just a block over here. Okay. Uh, I work there on Tuesdays and Wednesdays is the barista, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm a part-time barista too. There we go, uh, yeah. You know, you gotta pay the bills somehow. Yeah. Um, so. Gotta pay for school, that's the main thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you're going to school then. I'm, I'm done school, so I've gotta. Oh, so you gotta. gotta pay the loans. We're just talking about this, I know. It's pay like you go to school just to like pay off debt for the rest of your life. Yep. That's what it is. That's literally why I'm keeping that job is so I can get that paid off yeah. as quick as I can. Oh man, yeah. it sucks. So. Um, so I guess this is what your, like what, what are your goals with the whole, with the Metro Thrift? And yeah. I guess what do you want to achieve with it? Um, I guess this is, you just want this to be your full time. Person. Yeah, totally. So eventually. Next year we're going to be open Tuesday through Sunday and have a full week. Wow, with okay. one day off. Okay. Um, uh, and then I guess bigger picture is beginning a second bus. Really? Yeah, so I don't okay. think I would go into a retail store quite yet. Yeah. I'll do a bus, maybe a third bus, and then move into a store. Well, also, it's the name of right? your company. Yeah, exactly. Metro Thrift. Yeah, so if we ever do get into like an actual retail front, it'll be like Metro Station. Okay. Kind of play off Ooh. that a little bit. I like that. Um, yeah. And then hopefully have places to park the bus. That's right. Oh, the sun's and coming out. And the sun's out. coming out. Yay. That's so great. The vibes. Yeah, it's a little more quiet in here. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's the, Got the mirror. Why should we buy slow fashion over fast fashion? Mm. Well. Yeah, we kind of cover that, but. Yeah. I don't know, lasting. I guess going away from the sustainability side. You're, support, you're supporting small companies. Yeah, supporting local. Like, I love and that. you've got your own unique style. When you buy second hand, most times there's yes. not a second one on that same rack. Mm -hmm. There's probably a second one around somewhere yeah. in North America, but you're not going to walk down the street and see somebody wearing the same mm -hmm. shirt as you. Absolutely. Which I think is now even more important as people are kind of more finding themselves and expressing themselves a little bit more that you need to have that uniqueness, right? Mm. So. Okay, I think we're, we're coming to it. I asked yeah. you this earlier. Okay. I don't know if I asked it on camera, but what's your favorite fiber? Do you My have favorite one? favorite fiber. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna go I'm more going. into my athletic side of things okay. and go merino wool. Oh! Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, but like my base layers are merino, and okay. they are absolutely phenomenal for because like yeah. I'm a I'm a fairly sweaty person. Okay. So I'm just, yeah. I'm gonna be straight up. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's the humidity. Yeah. Uh, no, it is. But then if you're a sweaty person and you're out in the cold, that's like the worst combination ever. Mm. So merino is really good at absorbing moisture. Um, and keeping you toasty. So. Yeah, merino wool. Merino wool. All right. Yeah, yeah that's All right. my. That's my. Uh, I love that. Yeah, but sustainably, 
Source. Source, of exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So important. Yeah. Where are you buying it? I don't know. It's from a big <laughs> company? I don't know. Okay. All right. That was awesome. Woohoo! Thank you. Yeah. All right, that concludes our video. Thanks everyone for sticking around to the end. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And to find more small sustainable fashion brands out there, I'm on the lookout. And if you yourself are one, um, hit me a message. Send me a message on my email or my Instagram. I'll just link those down below there and I'll put them in the description as well. Also, give the Metro Thrift a follow. There's their Instagram and their website is linked in the bio where they'll be popping up. Uh, thanks again for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Stay hydrated. Like the bottom is all coming apart, so I have to like tuck it in. My mom told me to get rid of them. We're like nighttime surfing. There's this guy that like made this mechanism, and it's like he looks like <laughs> he looks like one of those. Oh, okay, yeah. So I came from Alberta. Alberta. Yeah. So I know. No, it is. That's why I'm here. <laughs> what are those? Yeah. So he made one of these things so that he can surf at night because he's a dad. There's lots of nice jackets today. So, um, a lot of people actually don't like Value Village. Why? Because it's owned by Walmart. So it's like, you gotta do your dad things, but then at night, he surfs with this like mechanism. So you can like... Hey, look, this is for you. St. Mary's. <laughs> the most sustainable clothing items are in your closet.